It's a rain out here at Spillane Field. 5-3 to three the final score in six innings. Kyle Marshak alongside Ethan Ibe and Madison Walker on the Gateman Baseball Network postgame show. A lot of storylines to talk about today, but we'll just brush over the game real quick and then talk about something more important. So 5-3, to three, uh, the Gateman take a big win today. Ethan, um, the bats worked well, and uh, A.J. Colarusa with a little bit of a comeback start, too. Yeah, A.J. looked incredibly comfortable out there on the mound. Huge for him to get back on track. Same deal for the Gateman after a tough loss at Brewster yesterday. The bat showed up. They played like a team, and that's all that matters. Maddie, you braved the rain, so uh, what was it like for you down there? It was pretty bad at first. It started coming down really hard. Everyone started scattering everywhere. They ran to the bus, the away team. Our team ran inside. It was very cold. Tried to do a hit for you guys just so you could realize what me and Francisco Francesca were enduring, but I don't think it went through. So unfortunately, as you can see, I'm wet and everyone's gone home, so there's no post-game interview besides my two lovely broadcasters. <laughs> well, we got the dub nonetheless. So while the rain surprised us, so did a small snapping turtle found in the dugout sometime in the second inning. We thought it was a Franklin, found out it was a Francesca Madison. Tell us the story of how we discovered this. So I went up to Tom and said, look at my turtle, look at my turtle. And he said, what's his name? And I said, Francisco. And he said, that's a girl. She has a long tail. So she is now Francesca because she's just a beautiful, brave girl sitting in my cup. We're going to go deliver her in the marsh to live a long, healthy life after this. And we support Francesca the whole way. So a small snapping turtle who's got a big life ahead of her. Um, Ethan, I guess uh, on top of that to continue the baseball conversation, which is just a side point at this point too. 5 p.m. at Bourne tomorrow, but they slide into just a half game behind the lead, uh, which is Hyannis in the West Division. Bright things ahead for them. Yes, definitely. Uh, this is a good step forward for the game, and as they try to get back on track, they've now won three games in a row at home, one and one on the road, so it'll be interesting to see what can happen here at Bourne tomorrow. Now, let's be honest, Kyle. You've asked me a baseball question. I don't want to talk baseball right now. I still just want to talk about this turtle. And by the way, originally it was Bobby Bozer that found this little guy in the dugout, handed it off to one of our photographers, Kyler Armstrong, who then brought it up to us in the press box. And we actually had a live interview uh, with Francesca, whatever we want to call it, um, during the broadcast. <laughs> so, you know what? The Rally Turtle is here. Rally Turtle has arrived to Wareham, and he or she, whatever, is here to stay. And look at that. So now Francesca joining us on this broadcast here. We'll get a close-up shot of Francesca. Um, any reptile experts, let us know. We're certain it's either a terrapin or a snapping turtle. Francesca, how did you brave the weather today? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well spoken. Intelligent. Very, a lot to say. very well spoken. All right. Alongside Francesca Rico, I'm Kyle Marshak with Ethan Ibe and Madison Walker. 5 p.m. at Born Tomorrow. We'll catch you guys there on the Gateman Baseball Network, powered by Cape League TV. And Francesca. <laughs> <laughs>